We're so glad that you're here. I am excited to introduce you to my next author. Her name is Helene Meisner Ulrich. And Helene is just making the world a better place. Um, as a human being, as a teacher, opening minds and hearts to people who are different, different cultures and religions. And I'm just so glad to introduce you to her. And her book is called Memories of a Jewish Girl from Brooklyn. Welcome, Helene. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, I, I love your book. Um, and it's just, I think, what the world needs at this time. Would you share what the overall message is about your book? Yes, certainly. Um, it's very unbelievable what's happening in the world. And people have to know how to be kind to each other and to help each other. And as a teacher, being with so many children, I taught them how to care for people that they liked. De not depending on the religion or race or color or anything else, but if they like them, they should allow them to be in their lives. What was the big influence in your life that helped you to be loving and have that influence um, moving forward as, as an adult? All right. My parents were always the kind of people that allowed all kinds of people to be their friends. Mm -hmm. And also they made sure that when something happened and people were prejudiced that they would talk with them and try to teach them how to be kind. And I learned it from a very little girl. And I always felt that that was important. And my students were upset because their parents didn't want them to be friendly with people that were different than them. Mm -hmm. And I taught them how to care for other people. And so therefore I became teacher of the year in Brooklyn because I taught them non-prejudice. And I want parents as well as teachers to be able to teach their children this so that the people wouldn't hurt each other because they're different than them. It's uh, very sad when that happens. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Helene, what were some of the things, what are some of the practical steps that you took to be able to open the minds of children to be accepting and loving and kind? Just give us some tips that, you know, seeing this well, video might help. Well, in my classrooms, I had, I had, um, I had parties every month with parents from all different parts of the world, different mm -hmm. colors and so on. They'd come in and they would bring food, music, and different things, and the children would get to learn and to know about that. And then also, um, we also all love pets, and I always felt that the children, my sweetest and kindest students were ones that had pets because they knew how to love and care, right. and that was very important, you know. So, um, yeah, and it, when, I, when they graduated from school, they had a huge party for me. They said that I changed their lives, that they oh. learned to care for people that they liked, not what other people told them they shouldn't do. So uh, that was important. You were an incredible role model because it was modeled for you as a kid. And yeah. I, I, I'm fascinated by the fact that you started writing and uh, putting your feelings on paper at such a young age. Yes. Well, I loved writing and reading and going to the library and uh, buying books was like special for me. So I was always writing a lot of little things, not expecting to really write a book just to write about my life and mm -hmm. I'm a photographer also and I do restaurant reviews and I love to travel and do things and I have a lot of different friends and so I used to write about my and uh I had met Johnny Carson once who's famous yes and, I wanted to, to ask you about that can you share a yeah. little bit about that glass of champagne that was brought over to your table <laughs> <laughs> well, he used to go to Sardi's, and when I graduated from high school, I was 17, mm -hmm. and my friend's parents took me to Sardi's, and while I was there, uh, actually a bottle of champagne came over, and I, oh, who is that from? And Johnny Carson, he thought I was beautiful, he wanted to meet me, uh... and then I started dating him a little bit. <laughs> he tells you got to buy the book for the good stuff, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> That's yes. just enough of a tease. Helena, let's talk about the dining diva in you. Yes, well, I always like to eat in good restaurants. Unfortunately, when I grew up, my I was so skinny, my mother would always give me malted milks, but she didn't know I was allergic to milk. 
Oh. And I was out of school for three days. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, I, so I, yes, I'm very much into seafood and all kinds of things. And my son says, thanks, Mom, I have to have black coffee because I gave it to him, too. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so um, I became the dining diva, and I would review restaurants in Manhattan and Brooklyn and all over uh, for my website. But now that I live in Queens, in Whitestone, Queens, I uh, do it for the Queens Courier. And I do all the restaurants and so many people love to go there and I see pictures, but I go to a restaurant. If I don't care for it, I will not review it. You know, I don't even tell them what I do when I go in to eat. I don't want them to do anything special. Right. But right, I right. love fine dining and uh, yeah, it's fun. That's, that's, that's awesome. Uh, you know, I yeah. love the fact that you're just, you seem so happy. You just have this I am. Aura, aura <laughs> of light to you. Thank you. I also like photography. And I love um, sunrise and sunset and all kinds of beautiful flowers and things that have to do with the world. Because I live right, I live by the Throgs Neck Bridge in Whitestone, Queens. It's all water. Can you give birds. us a little view? What? Can you give us a little view? Yeah, I certainly can. It's quite beautiful here. My goodness, it looks like a picture. It is. It that is. We're, we're all so jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my friends live in the city, but I won't leave here because it's oh, so beautiful. I don't, I don't, I don't blame yeah, you. I can get around. You no, know, Colleen, I got to say, I think that you are obviously physically beautiful. Um, there's Thank no you. question about that. You just shine. You're just radiant. It just exudes from you. Thank you. But I think that so much of that starts from the inside. And that happiness and that accepting of people and the non-judgment and the openness and the love of different yes. cultures. And it makes me think about someone very important in your book named Mr. Stewart. Would you talk about him? Yes. Mr. Stewart was my neighbor. It's in the book. And he was a, a neighbor in a different building. What he did was take care of the building. Uh, he worked in the city also, but he was black. And everyone in my neighborhood, even though they were, you know, were Italian and Jewish and uh, all kinds of things, they didn't like black people because people were taught that way, that they were prejudiced. Right. So um, I just, he was so wonderful and so nice to me. I used to be with him all the time as a little girl. I'd sit on the steps because in Brooklyn we had these, little steps we played stoop ball on and so yeah. on. And we'd sit there and I'd wait for him to come home and he'd bring me little presents. And I was always so, I just loved him. And mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, when he passed away, nobody went to the funeral except my parents and me. My father was a very quiet English gentleman. When, he, when I was a very little girl, he was just so quiet all the time. Nat King Cole was famous on... TV and they took him off because people in Florida and other places wouldn't put him on TV because he was black. It's ridiculous. Anyway, my father went ballistic, started screaming and yelling and I, I was crying. I got so scared. Wow. Wow. He said, you, you like someone? What is, that has nothing to do with the color they are. I'm Jewish. My husband's Christian. My sister-in-law's Chinese. We do it all. And yeah. I love it. And, and and I have a little granddaughter, and she just, if she sees somebody who's eating by themselves all alone in the lunchroom at school, she will go and invite them over. She sees someone playing outside and they're all alone, she will invite them in to be with her, or she'll go out and play with them. Because I taught her that too. I mean, that's yeah. the way it should be. Yeah, and it absolutely. Makes, it makes people happier, and there'll be less killing and shootings and things because someone's a different religion or race that's ridiculous yeah. teach your yeah. children to be kind to one another helene if you had one minute with a gymnasium full of parents and you had a message that you wanted to share with them what would that message be i would have them teach their children from the time they were little to be kind to others and make sure that they give a, a, a truth about feeling good about each other and, and not be nasty. If someone's not nice to you and you don't want to be their friend, okay. But treat people the way you want to be treated. 
Mm -hmm. you know, and also be kind to all kinds of animals, birds, friends. I have a cat on my shoulder. It's beautiful art. My it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> But and you know, that, that love of people and animals is very tied in. Yes, I owe it. My sweetest and kindest students from all the years that I taught were ones that had pets. Yeah. Um, not that, you know, it was okay if they didn't have them, but they weren't brighter necessarily than the other kids, but they knew how to love and yes. care. And that's very important to care and it love. Ups. It absolutely is. Well, yes. Helene, we are wrapping up. I know that you're represented by EC Publishing and uh, that your book is available on Amazon and pretty much anywhere you can purchase Barnes books, right? Noble, any place, yes. Okay. Amazon, you can get it. Yes, and enjoy reading it. It's fun. <laughs> absolutely. Again, it's called Memories of a Jewish Girl from Brooklyn. You are just a joy. And like I said, you thank radiate you. happiness. It thank makes you. me smile just watching you. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you for You're making welcome. the world Thank such a beautiful place. Me. Yeah, our pleasure. Helene, have a great day.